Hey again everyone and welcome to another Moonshot Money video. I'm Chase Vickers. The market has been extremely volatile with the election coming up, the pandemic numbers moving higher, and Congress trying to put a stimulus package together. We thought we would put together a video about some stocks that we believe are resistant to all these circumstances and reasonably priced. In other words, no matter who wins the election or whether or not we get help from Congress, which stocks have the better chance to move higher? Where are the moonshots? Are you ready? Let's go. Now remember, we're not financial advisors or anything like that. We're just ordinary retail investors like all of you. But we want to grow our money and we know you're looking for every angle to do the same for you or you wouldn't be watching these videos. If you like these videos, help us out with the YouTube algorithm by giving us a quick like. And if you haven't joined our community yet, we would love for you to subscribe. Okay, there are several factors that brought us this short list of four companies that we will be continuing to accumulate in November. But in this video, we're only going to give you a brief amount of info and hopefully, if you're intrigued, you'll dig a little deeper, like we have, and invest only the ones that you feel the most comfortable with. The first stock is Pacific Biosciences ticker symbol PACB. We have been buying this company for a few weeks and as of this filming we are up almost 97 percent. We were tipped off on this diamond by watching the daily buys of ARK Invest. They currently hold over 15 million shares. You heard that right, 15 million. And they begin buying somewhere in the two to three dollar range. Think about that return. They have continued to buy even into the $13 to $14 range, which suggests that they have a strong conviction about this stock going much, much higher from here. So what do they do? Based in the heart of Silicon Valley, Pacific Biosciences provides sophisticated genomic analysis systems that deliver invaluable insights for scientists who strive to resolve complex genetic challenges. PacBio provides the longest average read lengths highest consensus accuracy, and most informed coverage of any sequencing technology on the market today. If you are trying to generally compare PacBio to another company, think about Illumina, ticker symbol ILMN, which is over $320 per share currently. Illumina specializes in short read gene sequencing, and PacBio specializes in a much more detailed long read sequence. Think about it like a 30,000 foot view map versus a much more detailed map and you'll get the picture. Of course, that's simplifying things tremendously. PacBio is on the cutting edge of genomic revolution and will continue to thrive and grow no matter who's in the White House. There are many resources online for you to do your own research. We have been and will still continue to buy PacBio. Seriously, folks, look into this company. Number two, we really, really like Palantir, ticker PLTR, which is a powerful big data SaaS company that could possibly become the most important software in the world. Right now, our government is using this software to fight terrorism and even help track the upcoming vaccines that everyone is waiting on, and not to mention several other active covert assignments. Talk about a company that is trusted. Not only do they have government contacts, but they also work with the big Fortune 500 companies. Here's a quote from their website that explains how they solve complex problems. Institutions have the data that they need to make the best decisions for safety, stability, and prosperity. But too often, their data is fragmented and locked into silos. The people on the front lines of our most important problems don't have the information they need when they need it most. At Palantir, we build software that lets organizations integrate their data, their decisions, and their operations into one platform. Our software empowers entire organizations to answer complex questions quickly by bringing the right data to the people who need it. So you can imagine how important this is to our Department of Defense and the CIA. Some of their software solutions include cyber, financial, legal, law enforcement, insurance, pharma, manufacturing, intelligence, mergers and acquisitions, and many more. In simple, plain English, Palantir is a really big deal. Owning this now is like being early on in something like Microsoft. Palantir was listed on the stock exchange on September 30th through a direct listing, so it's only been available for about a month now. Our average cost is $9.81 per share, and we plan to accumulate into the $10 and $11 range. We are up just over 11% currently. 
Do your due diligence, and if you buy, put it away for a very long time, and we think you'll be handsomely rewarded. Number three. Next, we love this little penny stock called Nano Dimension, ticker NNDM. Again, it was brought to our attention by closely following the daily buys and sales of ARK Invest. We have been buying for a few weeks now, and our average cost is $3.99 per share. Currently, the stock is under our average, so we are seriously watching and buying when we have a little extra to invest. Our strategy is pretty simple. Follow the money. ARKQ, their Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF, as of this filming, holds 1,893,000 shares valued at over $6 million. Okay, you might be thinking, so, ARK owns Nano Dimensions. What do they do? Here's a quote directly from their website. We're a technology company disrupting, reshaping, and defining the future of how electronics are made. The solutions, services, products we offer are bridging today's world with the electronics of tomorrow. Moving the industry from 2D to 3D, from initial design right through the manufacturing with the world's first professional 3D printer for electronics, highly conductive silver nano particular ink, dielectric ink and 3D software. Simply stated, it is a 3D printing company for electronics with specialized ink. They are an Israeli company with a Florida office in the United States. Here are some of the markets and applications for this interesting company. Research, aerospace, defense, medical, automotives, and other industries. The future is bright for Nano Dimensions as the world's first 3D printer for electronics. Think for a minute about all the space commerce that's coming in the future. What happens if you could use a 3D electronics printer to print things you need in space to build out infrastructure? Good times for NNDM, that's for sure. Do your own research on this one. Now, speaking about the space industry, that leads us to our fourth and final stock we're buying for November. It's space related. Now, we love Virgin Galactic and own several shares, but SPCE is not the space company we're going to buy in November. Number four is a SPAC, which is a special purpose acquisition company. It is Momentus, who is merging and coming to the market through Stable Road Acquisition Company, ticker symbol SRAC. This deal values Momentus at $1.2 billion and is expected to close early next year. This space stock will soon trade on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol MNTS. Lockheed Martin and NASA are already Momentus partners. Momentus, which was founded in 2017, plans to provide last mile delivery in space, transporting in orbit satellites and cargo. Think about how your Amazon order gets to your house. It may start on an airplane or an 18 wheeler, but eventually reaching your front door through a FedEx or UPS truck. That's the last mile delivery vehicle. Momentus will deliver satellites and or space cargo to where it precisely goes after separation from the rocket. The Momentus transport and service vehicle called Vigoride can take a satellite to a precise destination or a custom orbit within low earth orbit. That makes a ride share into space more feasible with several payloads carried on a single rocket. It's cheaper for many satellites to hitch a ride on one rocket, but the payloads are delivered to one single orbital position. SpaceX and United Launch Alliance, a joint venture with Lockheed and Boeing, ticker BA, offer rideshare services. Meanwhile, the proliferation of new launch providers have made access to low Earth orbit more competitive in cost. Listen up, everybody. The first launch of the Momentus Vigoride vehicle is scheduled for December 2020 on a, listen, SpaceX Falcon 9 rideshare mission. That's right. Elon Musk, SpaceX, and the Falcon 9 are partnering with Momentus. We can't even begin to explain how exciting that is for the future and what our investors who are willing to put their money to work here. I still remember back in early January when we were at the Kennedy Space Center down in Florida, driving out to the launch sites and seeing that big, beautiful SpaceX building on that famous 39A launch complex at Kennedy Space Center. It really gives me chills to think about being an owner in a company that's going to space in that Falcon 9 rocket. How fun will it be to watch that launch? Remember, SpaceX is the first private company to send astronauts to the International Space Station, and that happened just a few months ago. 
It appears that Momentus will be assisting Starlink with its satellite development as soon as December of this year. Momentus describes itself as the space infrastructure company. Here's a quote from their website, momentus.space. The next industrial revolution is right over the horizon. The opportunities for growth offered by space-based applications are virtually infinite, and we're at the center of it all. Momentus will be providing the infrastructure services necessary to usher in the coming era of space-based prosperity. With in-space transportation as a core service, we're laying the tracks for the robust, thriving economy just a few hundred kilometers overhead. The space economy is going to be huge, and ticker SRAC is just over $10 per share. Our average cost is $10.31, and we're going to be aggressively accumulating as the weeks roll on. Now keep in mind, this one is not a quick mover. We're looking at two or three years here before we see significant revenue being made. But make no mistake, we think this is another one to buy and stick in the vault for a few years. Fingers crossed, we hope we are glad we did. Now please remember, we're not financial advisors, tax advisors, or even debit card advisors. Our best advice is for you to take these ideas and do your own research. We wanted to give you four stocks that are very reasonably priced that we feel could give you a beautiful return over months and years. Moonshots in the making. Are you going to be buying any of these stocks? Let us know in the comments below. If you're still here, thank you for watching. And if you haven't joined the community of investors, subscribe and you'll be alerted every time we post a new video. Until next time, happy investing.